Previously on Cognition. Excuse me, I don't mean to be rude, but you took the flowers from my brother's grave. I'm so... Uh... <laughs> don't sweat it. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. You lost your brother too? Every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with Scott's killer. He's been quiet for three years. Maybe the guy died, who knows? When did your brother die? About six years ago. He owned and managed some properties in the city, so now it's what I do. Hmm, sounds like good work. Not quite as interesting as being an FBI agent. White male, cause of death, strangulation. Uh, what the hell is going on? I can't control my visions. Anthony Longmore was a killer, and he's been doing it for years, until someone stopped him last night. But if this piece of shit was murdered the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? We make a good team, don't we? It's Davies. She's a target. Special Agent Reed. How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? Sully! Just finding him isn't good enough. I found Scott, I found Davies, and I was too late to save either of them. I know what it's like to lose someone close to you, Erica. Joey go falls. He's the wise monkey. Get away! These... these belong to go falls. What the hell? Jared! What is going on? Who's doing this? And how do they know about me? Holy shit. Recently, I felt unsafe at my apartment. I started noticing a man hanging around. I, I can't check it out myself right now, but I can get a car over there at least. Someone to keep an eye on things until I can get there myself. I'm so sorry, kiddo. You've been here all night, huh? Are you hungry? Uh, probably. But I still feel like throwing up. I swear, everything's changing. You would have never have seen this happen 30 years ago. Well, it's happening now. And I've got to do something about it. I'm glad you could make it. I... Erica! Hey, John! I can't really talk much right now. But I want you to know I'll be out of touch for a day or so. So don't go starting any search parties for me. You just look after Sully. How's he doing? Oh, he's hanging in there. Where are you going? Just checking up on some old business in a place called the Anthon Towers. Anthon Towers? Stay by Sully, make sure he's cared for, and I'll see you soon. John! Damn it! Did you say the Anthon Towers? Yeah, I had a stakeout planted there. Now something's going on. Erica, that place is bad history. There was a murder a few years back. Nasty stuff. A brother and sister. What were their names? <sighs> That'll fit right in with my week so far. Dad, I wish I could stay and chat, but... Go. I'll look after Sully. Oh, yes. I remember Max and Cordelia Smith. I managed to find out a few things on the drive over. The body that fell was Joey Gothals, the wise monkey. I came to crash the party, but it looks like I just missed it. Hey, you there. Gotta clear off. Duffer? That's Officer Agent Reed. Ah, oh, Christ. Listen, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the premises. It's just, we're trying to clear people out, not attract them. What happened here? I was on a stakeout here in that patrol car, and a body came down on it. Nobody's really told me anything except that I'm supposed to keep away any gawkers. I wish I could help with the investigation, but right now that's not why I'm here. All relevant info has been pulled from the site then? That's fast. 
Yeah, in training they told us you should take a lot longer. But Agent McAdams had everyone hurried up. All the evidence was put together and moved. The body was, well, put together and moved. I don't get it. Is he trying to sabotage any chance of a decent investigation? I don't know what he's up to, Agent. I'm just here doing what I'm told. Why are you here? It looks like you're hurting for some coffee. Yeah, except I'm trying to stop jittering. Since I was unharmed and already on the scene, they kept me here to help out. Seriously? Yeah, it's no big deal. I know I'm the new guy and I'm okay doing the grunt work starting out. So, I'll be here till sunrise. So if you're standing here during this, who's running the investigation? A detective from the station named Molly Robinson came in. But then Agent McAdams came in shortly after and everything took a turn. A turn to what? To whatever it is you see now. Hmm. A turn to shit then. So then what happened to all the evidence? It's all been pulled together and locked up. That's unusual. A scene this fresh shouldn't be this quiet. I'm gonna look around some more. Sure. It's locked. Oh shit, it's McAdams. Agent Reed! What are you doing here? An investigation, remember? When I was taken off of Davies and put on the wise monkey case? No. There's no case here anymore, it's all... The investigation's been moved. We combed the site, then transferred the evidence. You can't do that! The integrity of the... We followed all the necessary protocol, Agent Reed. And evidence is being handled by the local police. Now, I don't want to hear another word suggesting otherwise. Your integrity in such matters is... notable. I saw the flashing lights from my room earlier and grew a little concerned that I would have to come down and have a little... talk with you. Good to see that wasn't necessary. Did that man just praise you with integrity for obstructing the thorough investigation of a murder? If you understood anything beyond your own little vendettas, you might be holding on to more than the FBI's bottom rung. Someone is dead. In fact, a lot of people are. Yeah. The guy you were seeking for serial murder? What, are you pissed you couldn't get him a federally appointed death? A killer is gone. So we now just make sure our shit doesn't stink as we carefully move it from somewhere it doesn't belong. Who was that man? Someone who has a lot of powerful friends on Beacon Hill. Everyone who lives in this place does. That's all you need to know. He complained about seeing sirens from his window and he can just... Have them turned off. Yes. Was John here earlier? John McCoy? Briefly. But now the whole case is getting dumped to local law enforcement. I need to get inside. You're not hearing me, Agent Reed. There will be no further investigation inside the towers. Did your men even go up there? Of course we did. And we found nothing. So leave it alone. But... No. We're done here. I'm going to check the perimeter. I expect you to be gone when I get back. There's the McGass I know and love. I don't care who was killed. Someone still did this. Once I get a sense of what went on here, I'm going to talk with him and find out why he's acting like this.
You're doing a great job, Brendan. Thank you, Agent. Ugh, gross. He likes his coffee very sweet. Ugh, gross. Nothing exceptional. Standard stakeout. Pretty boring, actually. Huh, weird. I just remembered seeing something else from before. When the body hit the car, something else was falling. A piece of metal or plastic. We should search- Just stay here. I'll go look. I saw that knife fall here. I'll have to ask about it. They must have found the knife and taken it as evidence. It's pretty flowers, though. It's bizarre, but gorgeous. Like black velvet. It doesn't match anything around it. In fact, it looks like it fell here. Huh. Looks like it's been picked or cut or something. I'm not sure if they bagged the body or had to scoop it. Ugh, brutal. This is where Joey met his end. He must have fallen from pretty high up. Since the people working this scene don't seem to give a shit about it, I'll need to determine where he fell from and go do some looking around on my own. Embedded in the door. I wonder if I can just. Got it. There's a charm on this. It's that psi symbol again. Fully equipped crime scene van. I met Sully in one of those. Locked up tight. Hey, Duffer, a huge favor to ask. Sure thing. There should be a knife in evidence, and I need to see it. It might be key to finally getting a real investigation started here. Damn. Yeah, that sounds important. Here, the evidence is still in the van. Thanks. You're a good cop, Duffer. So the body fell. Where did it fall from? The roof? Something like that. I think I was still kind of in shock when that was being discussed. You didn't notice anything going on up there on your stakeout? I thought I saw something up there, but Officer Collins said it was probably nothing, and that we were just supposed to wash the ground floor. I'm gonna look around some more. Sure. Thank you. 
orange road cones. Very commanding. Hell, there are a few agents I know who aren't as persuasive as these things. I don't need the whole stack, but I will take one. Fingerprint kit. God, no. I can't pull prints to save my life. Or anyone else's. Maybe I'll do some redecorating. Agent Reed! This is a low-profile scene! Get those lights off now! And they stay that way! And that's what they call making a scene. Too bad old Ironsides there is so against it. That's the sort of knife you'd skin a deer with. It's probably the murder weapon. My favorite part of any investigation, carrying around murder weapons. Knife cut the flower, and they were both dropped from the garden balcony just below the roof. That was where Joey fell from. That's the right idea, but there isn't anything for me to suspend it from. Well... It doesn't exactly look like the scene is buzzing with activity, but it's halfway to at least having a pulse. Alright, I've got enough here to make it look like a crime scene. Now I just need some attention. This knife is evidence. I shouldn't walk off with it. Time to start the shit show. What? Lights off! Lights off! What is going on here? Agent Reed, if this is your doing, it is completely unacceptable. Yes. Here comes that man again. It looks like we have a little problem on our hands. Oh. No, she's being taken care of. I wasn't referring to her. We're discussing... you. This is totally unacceptable. Y yes Well, there's a lot of loose ends to manage. Ugh, they're locked. Maybe I didn't make it clear to you how serious this is. All right, the doors are unlocked. Let's go put the legs back on this case.
Okay, I'm in. Ugh. It looks like more of a museum piece than apartment art. Oh well, at least it's better than paintings of flowers and bolts. Enthon Towers, your security is our obsession. Why do rich people like their plants clipped into geometric shapes? Is it a power thing? No, I want to go do what I came here for. No fuss, no muss. Ah, you're the woman from outside. Only now you're inside. Yeah, my boss was being a pain. You should think carefully, Agent. This is not a place you want to be. Maybe not, but I figured since I'm here, hey, why not go up and check out the view? One of my jobs is to look after this place and ensure a frictionless living environment for all the residents here. I just thought I'd let you know. Uh-huh. Well, that'll be useful to know if we ever talk again. Quite right, Ms. Reed. Quite right. Wait, how do you... What's this? It looks like Terrence sent me something. Dossier? It looks like something got installed on my phone. Looks like a bird? Empty. It looks ornamental. Maybe it's one of those singing bowls. It's just a branch, but there's something about it I don't like. Something kind of sinister. Empty. It looks ornamental. Maybe it's one of those singing bowls. This is it. The same balcony I saw in that vision. The killer had Joey up here. I believe I'm going through here. This is just ridiculous. I'm not wasting my time on telling you. Yeah, what do you want? I am looking. Scouring this place. There, there's nothing here to find. Yeah, I know, Jeff Therian. Well, I haven't found a damn thing in this place on Jeff Therian. Are you sure it's not a bogus lead? All right, fine. I'll keep looking. Gah! Getting too old for this shit. He was just up here. Did someone get to him? No, he's not. 
I'm not losing anyone else. This lighter is coming with me. This must have been where that black flower came from. Yep, there's the cut stem. I don't know what it is. I don't do plants. There's blood on the table. It's coming from under the flower pot. There's blood under this. So it was set here after. <laughs> Please. Please. Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, I did. I was right about you. Clever and persistent. I knew you'd make it here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Years. And here you are, just like the visions showed. We're more connected than you think, and if you're a better investigator than some of your co-workers, you may find out how far that connection goes. Maybe you can still save John, but it's too late for Joey here. He knows what's coming to him and why, right, Joey? No! Uh, uh, uh. What's happening to me? Uh, I can't make the vision stop. I need to get out of this now. Please, Erica, don't disappoint me. Cordelia? Cordelia? What the fuck was that? Why couldn't I stop the vision? It was like she was controlling it. She was talking to me. Cordelia. I need to call Rose. It's Erica Reed. Something really weird just happened to me. Erica, my dear, just calm down and tell me all about it. I had a vision, but I was stuck in it. I, I couldn't get out. It was focused on a woman, Cordelia. But Rose, she saw me. She knew I was there, that I could hear her. She talked to me. Cordelia? Oh dear, how could I not remember her name? Where are you, Erica? Are you at the Inthon Towers? How the hell do you know that? Erica, this is important. Is Jean with you? No, he's not. He snuck over here alone, and now I'm trying to find him. You have to get him out of there, Erica. He is in danger. Then I'm going to need your help. I can't get stuck in another vision. Listen, Cordelia is a scion too. What you experienced was a magnification of your powers. There are cases documented where two scions with complementary gifts can be connected in such a way. One such as you might see the past, and so the other... ...would see the future. Rose, this is not good. 
If she can see the future, well, it doesn't exactly put the odds in my favor. Why are you so sure John is in danger? That is not important now. What is important is that he can still be helped. Find Jean quickly. And don't forget, you are extremely resourceful and strong. Entering a deeper vision can be troubling at first. But as long as you do not forget yourself, you will be able to come out at any time. Okay. I won't leave here until John is with me. Thank you, Rose. Take good care of yourself, my dear. The spirits are restless tonight. <sighs> There's the last bit of evidence from the wise monkey killings. God help me if it's anything. No. I've handled enough severed body parts for one lifetime. I'll put it with the one I already have. That's a long way to fall. Okay, Erica. Time to slow it down for a second. Whose place is this? It's a very big TV. Not until I know more. The reason I love glass tables? You can always rely on them to have at least one usable fingerprint. Looks like some sort of designer trash can. Probably cost a few hundred. Spotless. This place doesn't even look lived in. It looks more like it's been prepped for an open house. It's a slab of pink-veined marble. So what? I'm fine with my linoleum countertops. Someone's coming. This was so stupid. A murderer led me here. Hello again, Ms. Reed. Please, stand up. Agent Reed? Where's Cordelia? I see. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm here to inform you that Ms. Smith wants you to make yourself at home here. But of course, you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it. Wait, who are you? You're not just a property manager. How are you involved with Cordelia? I am the Smith family lawyer. My name is Scorobius. And Cordelia? Do you know where she is? No, but she made mention of a John, I believe, before she left. Yes, definitely John. She said that you'd likely be wanting this. And also that, as I've stated, you have free access to her home, nothing withheld. So this place is Cordelia's? All 33 floors. Wait! Damn it! What did he drop off? He said it was from Cordelia. Why would Cordelia have him leave this? Why would Cor Ugh. 
What is she doing to me? What am I supposed to think? You're supposed to think that you can do something for me. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Rose can help you. And watching the paths get ripped apart is no help. Double your bet. <sighs> this feels the same as that vision on the balcony. But... Okay. I've got a little more control now. I can leave the vision if I want to. It's the Boston office. This memory feels years old, before I was an agent. But it's still amazingly clear. A lady at the front desk pointed me back here to Agent John McCoy. Oh, I'm getting that feeling again. Like someone's watching me out of the corner of their eye. John? Cordelia came to you? You've met her? Ugh, no. I'm looking for John McCoy. Is that you? The one and only. What's this about? I was led to believe maybe you could help me. Damn it. I don't know what she was trying to get help for. It must have been something pretty serious, though. I won't get a clear vision of what they talked about until I know why she was approaching John. But there is one fragment here I think I can feel out. It's about... Rose? All right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. This whole week has been lousy, and watching the paths get ripped apart is no help. But what am I supposed to think? You're supposed to think that you can do something for me. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Here, there's this woman, Rose. She runs an antique shop, and she's gifted. She knows about visions and things. She's been giving me some guidance. Give her a call. There's a desk down on the end you can sit at to call. So, I guess Agent McCoy gets advice from his psychic when he's stuck on a case then? Hello, Lament Antiques. This is Rose. How can I help you? Yes, hi. My name is Cordelia. John McCoy referred me to you. He said that you could help me. I've had this, well, this vision of my brother. He gets killed in it, and, and it's awful. I see. And what triggers your visions? Well, sometimes they just happen, but usually it's any time I, any time I think certain thoughts that relate to a vision. Yes, association is one of the main causes. But how do I unassociate? Sometimes I feel like I can't come out of it. I can't stop having a vision. Right now, the only thing that works is repeating I am awake to myself over and over in my head. After I start doing that, my mouth starts to say it. And then I remember I'm me again. Well, we will see if Mama Rose can help you. We will try something now. Close your eyes. Now, just relax, let your forehead rest, relax your eyes and your jaw, and I want you to search around for a feeling inside yourself. It's a little light. You might see troubling things, but you can also see helpful things. For now, search for the little light, and I want you to try to make that light bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. The light is moving, but it's hard to focus. I, oh! Hello, 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 are you there, my 
my dear? You screamed. Yes. I'm... I'm here. I... I need to go. I'll... I'll, I'll see you soon. My dear, before you hang up, remember. Some things you see are fixed and must happen, yes. But some premonitions are malleable. Their events can be shaped and changed. Take heart. There is always hope. Goodbye, my dear. I need to know why she'd show up to the Bureau asking for help. Whoa! Doing that almost brought on the vision again. I shouldn't do that in here without a very specific reason. I don't want to cause a scene. There's a big stack of folders here, each named with different... Hey, wait! Max's name is on this one! It has Max's name? That was a case number. I just saw it. Weird. The Cordelia I just saw doesn't seem like the same sociopath who's been toying with me lately. vase with a crazy design on it. This vase has a big chip in it, so this place isn't perfect. Landscape art. I prefer paintings with people in them. Nice staircase. This is her room. I can feel it. <laughs> 